Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy New Year, dear friends. We open the New Year program with the new joint program prepared by the Hekal Group from Jerusalem and 2025 initiative. Thank you for coming to join our circle today. This program is continuation of old standing friendship between two groups. Since 2012, our two groups would come together in Capricorn alignment every December bringing the note of Jerusalem forward, inviting all of you to tune with this note. Since the festival week of 2012, the beacon of Jerusalem that the Hekal group been trans uh, meeting to the world, been a rhythmic pulsating heart. Today, our two groups, two stars, come as one constellation. And we recognize many other groups around the world as points of pulsating lights, pulsating stars. And together we hold the space, sacred space of the new group of world servers. Let's listen to its notes through the silence. And so our journey continues. Over to you, Uta. Thank you, Alexander. And welcome, everyone. Yeah, after this first webinar during the festival week of 2012, we decided to continue this online activity. And since then, it has gone through diverse phases. And now we stand on the threshold 
to a new phase yet again, this time full circle back to the beginning of the inaugurating together with the 2025 initiative group. So in this first meeting in the new format, we want to just give a first overall taste of this work. And then in, in the later webinars, we can focus more specifically on different aspects. And the most central activity in each webinar will be the meditation itself, the energy work. So let's just get a first sense of Jerusalem and of this work. Just a few points. Linking back into the silence and sensing Jerusalem for a moment and our specific resonance with it. It's millions of people who have this resonance, this strong relationship with Jerusalem in the different religions and also people with no spiritual or religious affiliations. And of course, also many of us esoteric students Jerusalem is like an ancient magnet. It stands symbolically for peace and unity and diversity, for a wholeness of heart. And of course, Jerusalem still needs to catch up with these lofty goals like most other places and most of us individually as well. And indeed, indeed, we all work on our own individual Jerusalem, reconciling our own polarities, healing our own hearts, And with this, with our individual work, we help Jerusalem and the world to heal and to manifest the heavenly Jerusalem, the new spiritual civilization. And at the same time, whatever we can do as a group, whatever can be redeemed and activated in Jerusalem, will have an effect on humanity. Just imagine Jerusalem, the city of peace, sounding its note of unity across the lands. And of course, it's important for all places to sound forth their soul notes. And trained groups of soul aware servers can be instrumental in this, and Decade calls us must be instrumental in this. He calls us into organized scientific group activity, which will have practical results. He calls us to operate as what he calls points of spiritual energy. And this involves the science of energy, <clears throat> wielding spiritual or soul energy 
I have prepared a slide for this, for, the, for this quote from externalization of the hierarchy. Can you put the slide? Yeah, is it? The new order will be brought into expression by the play of the spiritual energy upon the forces in the three worlds. And this will be the task of the new groups when organized and functioning correctly. The desire of the hierarchy at this time is to fill the world of striving forces with points of spiritual energy and to distribute everywhere those who are affiliated with spiritual groups and are therefore linked subjectively to their group brothers in all lands, so that a pervasive intelligent influence can ceaselessly make its impact felt upon the minds of men and produce finally the needed good feeling, good will and good lives. Yeah, so the spiritual energy of a place. It's quite a subjective endeavor to discern it. And we find that it is an ongoing exploration and experimentation. The quality of the spiritual energy which we perceive pouring through Jerusalem. We started a few years ago to call it the will to love. It's the energy of the will aspect of the heart. The will to unity. And in our perception as a group, we sense it as a reservoir of golden energy, which exists both in the subtle realm above Jerusalem and also buried in the earth beneath it. And to us in our meditations, it feels as if there, if once there was a bridge between the worlds, between the heavens and the earth, energetic bridge. And when we bring ourselves and our group field into resonance with this soul energy, we can act as a bridge, a magnetic field on which this higher energy can play and through which it can begin to flow and to express itself in the outer world. For many years, we have focused our work mainly in the local area, fostering unity and diversity and right relations, especially between Jews and Palestinian Arabs. Then we gradually have included the Middle East countries in our meditative work. And during the last year from the Vesak, um, it was a very strong impulse for us um, that made us then start to experiment on a planetary scope, weaving the Jerusalem energy into the etheric web of the planet. It seems that the present global, global crisis 
is stretching all of us into a more planetary awareness. So this is our moment as the new group of world servers to step into our planetary role. So in our work now in these last few months, we have started to experiment with bringing Jerusalem into resonance with the five planetary inlets, New York, London, Geneva, Darjeeling, and Tokyo. Jerusalem is situated in the field of influence of Darjeeling. And indeed, the energy, there is a similarity in energy as we subjectively perceive. There's also in Darjeeling this interplay of will and love. There's a special connection between Darjeeling and Jerusalem. So we are at the moment in an experiment in thinking in terms of planetary energies and sensing them and working with both human consciousness and devic forces. It's all pioneering work. And it will be very interesting to hear your feedbacks. We are very happy to have you all here with us. And in a moment, we will go and try it out in meditation. And yeah, do it in a pioneering spirit, lightly see how it resonates and uh, just a word of uh, for our sharing afterwards as the tibetan said an organized scientific group work um, so it's very important to share our findings and to learn how to do it in high quality it's a skill that we, in all, all the spiritual groups, refine constantly. We are working, we are learning as we go. So this sharing is an important aspect of the work of building points of spiritual energy, creating fine, um, delicate telepathic magnetic field. So we are learning to make our sharing synthetic, distilling details into essence. So let's see how we will, yeah, how we will do this together. Okay. So let us now prepare for our meditation. Breathing deeply. Getting in touch with our bodies, feeling the body. Gently linking in with nature, with the earth.
tuning with the pulse of the earth. Sensing the embrace of the mother of the world and resting for a moment in the stillness in our heart. Bringing our mind into a focus in the center of the head. Standing as the incarnated soul, radiant. And let us now turn our attention to Jerusalem. Let us become aware of an outpost of love and light and the will to good somewhere within the aura of Jerusalem. And there we meet as we enter this outpost, sense its force field. Allowing our hearts to come into resonance with the group heart. And letting our minds tune into the group mind. As souls, we stand together as an outpost of light and love and will in the aura of Jerusalem. Perceiving ourselves as a point of spiritual energy within the great network of world servers. Take a moment to note all these focal points of spiritual activity around the planet, radiating and interacting. Sense this growing planet-wide awareness, planet-wide love that flows through this network. A planetary presence Perceiving now this planetary presence as a whole, how it interacts and resonates with the field of higher vibration that is held by the spiritual guides of this planet.
And let us allow our minds and our hearts to expand into this higher vibration. Sensing specifically the note, the quality of our soul colleagues in the subtle world who support and guide this Jerusalem project. Let us tune in specifically with their vibration. And in their aura, let us take a few minutes in silence, opening our consciousness with them to the divine plan and Jerusalem's part in it. Let us become aware of the soul quality of Jerusalem, this golden potent energy 
flowing through this vortex of Jerusalem, the will to love. And gently refocusing now in our group at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. Letting the high vibration settle into the group field. and hold it in suspense for a moment with our united hearts and minds at a point of tension. And now by an act of slow concentration and will See this golden vibration pour forth into the aura of Jerusalem, streaming forth. See angelic beings, golden devas, building with us this high vibration into the aura of Jerusalem. See it flowing through the trees who help to ground it into the earth. See the light in the heavens meet with the light in the earth. As above, so below. See the aura of Jerusalem glow with a warm golden light. Visualize the hearts of the citizens respond to this light, slowly swinging into this higher order, a higher order which has its ground in the sacredness of each person and the oneness of humanity.
Imagine the city calling out for oneness. The souls of all are one and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events. And bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. See a golden wave of the will to love, the will to oneness spread out into the whole area of Israel-Palestine. And spreading out further into the entire Middle East with all these countries. And into Asia, see a thread of light connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. See the unifying wave pour through the whole of Asia, linking into Tokyo. Spreading further east over the ocean to the Americas. Linking in with New York. And further to Europe, linking with London and with Geneva. Seeing this great golden wave spreading out all over the world and back to Jerusalem. Let us visualize this wave of unification continuing to flow over the earth as we recite the great invocation, first in Hebrew, then in Arabic, and then in English. Minekudat ha'or, asher bedat el, izrom ha'or, אל דעת האדם. ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם, תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים 
ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, שם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليشع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في الأب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب لقلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندعون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض The point of light within the mind of God Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells let light and love and power restore the plan on earth
Thank you, friends. Just take another minute of silence to allow our impressions to settle, to allow the details to distill into essence. So let us share our impressions. Hello, this is Helen from Jerusalem. This meeting and meditation is a real celebration for me as being part of the group, of the Hechal group and linked to the 2025 group. Um, it is so, the solemnity was so deep that uh, I don't have many words, but uh, two things um, I can uh, pick up from all the impressions. One is the polarities that uh, were mentioned in uh, the introduction and in the meditation that merge into oneness and here into a golden oneness. And the second impression was the great invocation in the three languages. It's like um, a flow of ancienty and modernity <laughs> of the new world and the ancient world. Um, time uh, as a timeline and the flow of a space line, the east and the west, and the flow on the one level, which is the soul of all of us into this oneness. So thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. This is Margot of the Sequel Star in Victoria, BC, Canada. Deep gratitude to her call. And your work 
with the 2025 initiative. The magnetic force beneath Jerusalem was very strong. As we tuned to group mind and group soul, the alignment between the magnet in the ground and the cosmic magnets clicked into place. Two spirals through which planetary presence was expressing. Guides in the subtle world opening to divine plan and Jerusalem's part in it. A great peaceful presence that evoked a feeling of complete enveloping peace descended. The will to love, the divine spark cleared the astral so that simultaneously the golden light of booty descended through the bridge, attracted by the magnet under the city. The golden light of the city expanded, encompassing all realms expressing through, throughout humanity. Love prevails. The planet became a station of light, right down to the subatomic level. We are linked. We serve as the great invocations were sounded in three languages, the action of light, love, and the will to good moved forward through the words. Thank you. Nina, please unmute yourself. This is Andrea. This was a very powerful meditation and one that I felt very physically. Um, I continue to feel very deep heart palpitations and, and a vibration that is very physical in my body. And when we approached the field of Jerusalem, there was um, the appearance of the manifestation of place in the world that has manifested the fourth ray of conflict for as long as we can imagine. And, and in that came this highly electric, energetic, vibratory field, um, very excited energy, energy of disturbance, and, and it was brought to my attention that that energy of disturbance creates an extraordinary opening. If there, was, if there wasn't that disturbance, we wouldn't have, there wouldn't be the power to instill the light and the love 
into that vortex that exists there. And it was almost as if there is a purity in the entry point for the precipitation of divine purpose, which is unity, which is that will to love. The will to love will come to us all when we are truly united as one in one life, which we all invoke in the divine plan. Where it really took hold was in the line when Uto was reciting the mantra of unification. And when it became a verbal demand, an invocative demand, let pain bring due reward of light and love. And in that demand, that opening became more vast. And hierarchy was able to precipitate a beautiful energy into Jerusalem, which is reflected from there to the whole world. Thank you for this. It's a magnificent scientific project and process. Thank you, Andrea, for this very hmm, intriguing observation. Um, can you say again what you said about the purity in the entry point? I didn't really understand that. Maybe it was that in this disturbed place of the energy field, that there's the opportunity for purity of love and of the will of love and to enter into the vaster field. Middle East is a vortex that, that swirls and there's something about the visual image of, of energy being able to be swirled into that vortex. Energy that is the will to good, that is the will to love, that is all that we invoke and bring to humanity through that through that energetic vortex. Mm. Yeah, thanks for your observation. Tim, Kiora from Marahau, New Zealand. It's a wonderful experience to be part of this meditation and to have Jerusalem as a very important focal point. I had a um, quite a powerful image during the meditation and it was of a cauldron with filled with a gold energy and the cauldron was being heated by the will that is being brought in through all that is going on and through the meditation itself and that the impurities of that were coming up through the gold contained within the cauldron was being filtered out and removed through the aspect of love and wisdom. 
So I had this sense of a very much a dynamic process of a fiery will heating a cauldron in Jerusalem or the energy of Jerusalem. And that it was being purified through a sense of divine love. And at the same time, that golden energy was then radiating out to all the points that you mentioned, the five energy centers, but also the whole of the world. And from our perspective, right through the center of the earth to the southern parts of the world. So I had a very wonderful sense of connection through that golden energy that's being purified through all the processes that are happening through the ages and at present in Jerusalem. So thank you for that. It was a wonderful meditation. Thank you, Tim. The cauldron is, um, is an image close to my heart, a cauldron with golden energy. I think you picked up <laughs> something that uh, exists in our in our group field. Hello. Hello. Hi, 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 everyone. Uh, can I say something? Sonia? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. I was not sure what happens with the hand. I, if I put it up or it's down, <laughs> I'm not so sure. Normally, now the hand is on. The hand. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, thank you very much for a very, very, very effective invitation, really. Um, I appreciate this connection with the planetary energy. It really worked excellent. Um, I have also comment which are similar to what was said before, that <clears throat> uh, we were like inside the cone, uh, a cone of light uh, above, which was connecting the temple in the other dimension to the Mount Moria and we were in this cone in, in high in high above but around not in the center of this inhaling the energy coming in exhaling to all the planets and when you said connect to Darjeeling uh, I have seen also a line going to Geneva immediately I don't know why um in fact many things happened but i forgot it <laughs> anyway uh, when we said the om at the end the three ohms after the great invocation and um, i don't know why i have seen serious like energy coming from serious from serious um, to to us and to other world then um i don't know if this is anything connected to the scripts we know and the, the, the written books and all this but i had an impression that this 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 light this golden light going up in this other dimension going to the center of this temple it was like a, a center for all, all humanity okay um, and I, and it was about to energize some petals. So what we say is piece of energy was about to change. And I have seen some color like rose and mountains and red rose. And then I had a very high feeling of focus and order and a lot of dense light of understanding and knowledge with the scientific structure because I felt like this is needed in order to do the transformation because there's a transformation ongoing and this is this very needed. So this look, looks like seven and five uh, and three maybe and one. So not so much two. Two was not like the mm. actual. The two was maybe the goal, but it was not the actual work. Mm -hmm. Like like 
no. Okay, like the tools that you use a lot of them. Okay, then um, what else? I have something to say from the last time. <laughs> you gave us a task to say what we think, and I was thinking about it. Yeah. And it came at some moment over the holidays. It came to me something to tell you. Um, so it is like that. That I have seen, in fact, in some meditation I was doing, that this I was in your in your group in this group again because this is uh, I like it. Um, and then I have seen the, the structure, a structure like a from, like plastic transparent structure, but hard, like the thoughts of everyone how to resolve the problem of Arabs and Jews. But the problem, of course, it's much more than Arabs and Jews, you know. But um, so what I had to say uh, on this is that it will be good if everyone just deletes all ideas about how to resolve the problem before the meditation, because it makes it, um, yeah, it creates some, something hindering. And one way is to think that the whole land, the holy land, this is the holy land, and everyone is one cycle. <laughs> I don't know if this is helpful, but this came to me. Like everyone is a cycle with a center, with a point in the center. The people are like the, all the people. And so there is nothing to think about, you know. <laughs> so this was yeah. idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this was one thing. What else? Uh, yeah, it really worked very nicely, this connection to the planet. I really like it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Sonia. Mm. Yeah, to just just open for the new, put our focus on the new. Let the rest just ah, dissolve. Where are you from, Sonia? Sonia is from Greece. Greece. Oh, I didn't understand. Sorry. You asked me something. I didn't understand. Yeah. I, I just asked where are you from because it's good yeah. to recognize where we are all now because we are each yeah, of from us. Greece, yes. I didn't understand what you said. Thank you. Um, Nina Merhoff, your hand been raised and you are unmuted. If you would like to share anything, please unmute yourself. Is this uh, all right to speak? This is Martha Gallagher representing the vortex of New York and also an aspect of the one work we all do, redirecting the economy in the one way. Um, thank you, first of all, for bringing the one work that we all do together in a, in a clear focus. Uh, Jerusalem, for me, uh, represents a fulcrum, uh, a tipping point <clears throat> through which the new world religion will emerge. And when we <clears throat> pull together um, to bring the light down, the will to love, it it came through for me as the star of the Magi, which often symbolizes wisdom. And <clears throat> wisdom, as we know, is truly an aspect of love. And given um, that powerful and uh, creative disturbance, through which we uh, are committed to emerge and transmute, there um, seemed, there were a couple of images that came through, which is, first of all, when we uh, extended the light of the will to love and we moved through the vortexes 
to the east to drive to New York, Tokyo, New York, London, Geneva, and back again. We, it seemed as though we were um, bringing the light to the zodiacal wheel of our of the planet itself, and it's set um, in motion this will that has two sides to it, which is what wisdom does, brings together all of the opposites. But to bring beauty to the dark side and truth to the light. And what an honor it is, however small, to me to be microcosmic contributors to this great work of transmutation. And I appreciated uh, the voice from New Zealand because this living zodiacal wheel that I hope will uh, carry through the year for, for me in contribution to this work, Hechal group, is that is that it is a zodiacal wheel that on any globe rises, it can be horizontal, it can be vertical, and that the zodiacal wheel at times works from north to south, from east to west throughout as a permeating uh, tool for uh, transmutation. Thank you. The meditation was most effective. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hello, this is Rosita from Britain. Um, I saw a, a blue, a beautiful blue crystal um, hanging above Jerusalem, and it was energetically held in place by the Masters of the Wisdom. And I felt that when the time was ripe, when there was a synthetic field on the ground, this crystal would descend and incarnate within Jerusalem. And that this is the spiritual destiny of the city, that it will then spread great light throughout the whole planet. And I saw this uh, radiating out and touching every nation and every every person on this planet. Thank you. Thank you, Rosita. And this is Mark. This is Mark from Sarasota, Florida, United States. I'm feeling very peaceful, um, grateful, uh, strong recognition of all the labor that's gone into putting together this format, uh, all the time and actually years of development. And it's uh, very beautiful and stabilizing to see that this is taking a a form uh, that uh, obviously is is hitting hitting uh, hitting a, a lot of truth, I believe. And once Jerusalem is in the resurrected mode, uh, it will uh, spread far and wide. And I like the comment of our last person who said it will include everybody in the one human family. 
So that's, I have more to share about that later at another time, but thank you for the excellent grounding structure foundation that has been built uh, through the labors of love of our leaders and uh, participants and uh, over the years. And we've really got something solid built. And uh, I, I, I see the future uh, uh, manifesting uh, great beauty mandalas of great great beauty will 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 manifest out of this garden that we've created so far so thank you and happy new year to everybody Katya, please unmute yourself. Um, thank you. Katya Kaufman, New York. Um, it's just uh, the magnitude of the meditation abilities have shifted. It expanded and uh, it is an amazing <clears throat> sense of the wider group being part of that. Very different wavelength, I believe, this time. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful meditation. Yes, Katya, I agree. I also have a sense that uh, it's a different scope. It's, uh, mm, it's a whole different wavelength that we are now um, entering with all of you in this wider group. I'm very grateful for this. It also seems to me of a different effectiveness now. Hello, this is Alice from Portugal. Can you hear me? Yes, Alice, hi. Okay, first of all, I want to thank you, all of you in this group. And I want to thank you, Uta, because this meditation was so powerful. And like Andrea mentioned, I felt it in my body so strongly. I'm still floating because it was very powerful. And at some point in the middle of the meditation, I felt, I sensed the, a point of union, bringing together past, present and future, as if this was a healing process of all these energies that are there. And at the same time, I felt the presence of the Christ so deeply. And then not just the Christ, but the whole hierarchy was like coming down and approaching the earth. And this was all so, so strong. And I believe that Moments like these can help to heal the planet, especially this part of the planet. So thank you all. Thank you, Alice. It's a bit similar to what Helen said, huh? this um, ancient and new world, this timeline, Yes. Mm. Hello.
Hello, this is Jill from UK. Um, I felt that the golden light was spreading peace and calm wherever it went, and that those who wanted peace and those who didn't want peace would be affected by it. And then to spread it out right around the world meant that it connected Jerusalem into the rest of the world more than it probably has been previously. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, Jill. There are a couple of comments that's been shared uh, via questions. I reposted them in the chat. Um, I can read them. Yes, please. Um, from Jen. I love this group. Its communion is so profoundly applied. I found the moment of the meditation around the areas of the world to be effective and can imagine this growing and becoming more established as this path becomes applied. And another one from Dita. I have it like a huge diamond standing in the middle center of Jerusalem, shining with light, spinning round to spread the light. I can add my own impressions that came at the moment of reading the Great Invocation. That together we, as a group in a circle, been on the Temple Mount. Same as Sonia has, uh, said, has been on the Moria Mount. And there was a sense that we are together in the etheric temple, in the new temple. And it's like two years ago when we were together with the Hikal group during the festival week, Uta shared impressions that there are no more temples that will be built out of stone. Mm -hmm. And it was that, yes, the new temple, the temple of humanity that we together manifesting is the etheric sacred place. Mm -hmm. It's existing in the booty level. It's already there. And that's all the impressions that we all together now bring in that radiant shining diamond and we are now it's we manifest in it in ethers yeah mm. it's probably what the dk also means when he's when he calls us to an ordered scientific work to build a temple
Yeah, anyone else before we close? So many thanks for this work together. I have the sense that things are possible now with the, in this new phase with all of you that have not been possible before. So it is yeah, exciting and humbling. Thank you and see you next month. Thank you, bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you and bye.